Hi guys, it's Louise from Project Thank You here. I hope you're all having a good day. So today is Tutorial Thursday and I'm going to do a quick tutorial video on designing Facebook ads in Design Studio. And I'm going to show you a quick tip on how you can make sure you get the perfect amount of text on your advert without even having to leave Design Studio to check. Okay, so once you're on Project Thank You Design Studio, you can go to the social media section we're already in here but if you click on Facebook ad image it's going to bring up this page so you want your Facebook ad image template which is 1200 pixels by 628 pixels okay so these are some of the templates that are already created available for you to edit in Design Studio but from today I'm just going to show you a blank project so if we just click personalize on there it's opening up the blank template in Design Studio okay so, we already know we've got the right size, 1200 by 628, um, and we can start adding some design elements. If you go to the art section here, and click on the drop down, you'll see I've got a section called Facebook Ads Elements. If you just click in there, it's going to bring up some different shapes for you to choose from. I'm just going to start putting this together. So if we click on this, this just drops through this cool shape that can go at the bottom. I'm going to flip it around the other way just by unchecking that box there, grabbing this side and flipping it across horizontally like that. You can just pull it by stretching the corners. If you wanted to keep your shape in proportion, you just click this checkbox here and then that keeps it, keeps it right. But I'm not too bothered about this shape, so I'm going to uncheck that and pull it across here. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the colour palette that I've already picked out. This is on colorlovers.com, which is a really useful tool to find colour palettes if you don't already have one. So, because this is an SVG layered file, which all of the files in the art section are, you can change the colours. So I'm just going to click on here. What you do is, with the colour, the hex code that I've just copied from Colour Lovers, I'm just going to paste that in there. It's as easy as that. I'm going to go back and grab another colour. And do that again just to change it. And once more. Obviously you can put your own brand colours in here. Like that. So let's change that. I'm going to go back and find some more design elements to go in here. So I think I will grab this shape. It's come on really small, so you just grab the corner and drag it like that. Where's it gone? There it is. I'm going to turn that on its side, so just grab this circle here and spin it around, or you can use the rotate panel here. I'm going to minus 90 degrees like that. I'm just making this up as I go along. So, I'm going to get that into the colours from my colour palette. There we go. Right, I'm going to add a call to action shape, which is going to contain a message. Tick the checkbox to keep it in proportion and just drag to make it bigger. That can go around about there. I'm going to change the colour, so what I'm going to do is I'm clicking on this and I'm going to copy the yellow from there. So just open up the colour box, click on that hex code and copy. And then paste it in the shape where you want it to go. Okay. I'm going to add in another design element, so I'm going to put in a little line of dots at the top. Obviously you can just do whatever you want with the design, I'm just playing around here, just trying things out. I'm going to copy this blue again, change the colour of the dots. So if you click on there, you can see how it brings up about a million colours of the same colour which you would have to go through and individually change but we're not going to do that because that would take ages so if you just click on here to group them all together 
it changes it to one colour where I can copy the code in and that's changed them all and then just group them together again. Okay, now I'm going to put a background in. So I'm, I'm going to the shapes panel here and I'm going to grab the rectangle and just draw that in like that. Now I'm going up here to the layers panel because I'm going to move that to the back. So you want to click on your rectangle and just move it down through the layers until it's at the bottom. So I'm going to change that so it's a lighter tone of the pink that we've used. So I'm copying that pink again, clicking on the black layer and pasting it in. And I'm just going to use this colour, the pointer tool here, to move it to a lighter tone of what we've got. Make it a bit lighter even. Okay. So now I'm going to add in just another element here just to show you really what you can do but this might be too busy for you you might want it totally different but there's lots of options for you to play around with. I'm going to spin that around to 180 degrees. There we go. Put that in that corner. Just drag it across there. I'm going to change it to match that red colour so it fits in with the colour palette. Again, that's come up with all the different colours that you'd have to change, so we're just going to group that again. So we only have to change one. And just remember to click it again. Okay. Actually, I'm going to take some of those off, so if I ungroup them and go through these little lines individually like this, I can just remove them. Cool. Right, so that's made a background quite quickly for the ad. Now I'm going to add some text on, but before I do this, you're only allowed 20% of text to take over your Facebook advert. So normally what you would do is create your advert and kind of just guess how much text you've got going on there. And then you'd go to upload it as your Facebook ad. And if, if you haven't checked, then you could get your ad rejected for having too much text. Facebook do have a text grid tool checker which you can upload your image to to check the text but then you'd have to, if it was too much, you'd have to go back to the drawing board and edit again. So what I've done is I've added my own Facebook ads grid text checker here in the art section. So when you're creating your ad, go to art and you'll see it there in the Facebook ads grid text checker. Just click on that and there's the grid. So what you need to do, it's in the right proportion to just Pull it so that it fits the full size of your ad. Okay, so what we need to do is make sure that only five of these rectangles are covered by text. And then obviously we'll just delete the grid at the end when we're finished designing. So I'm going to put in my headline, which is grow your list with, that's going to be the first line, the text in Design Studio, if it's one line of text, will always come in with a curve on it. So just drag this to zero to take the curve off it like that. I'm going to change the font by going to this font drop down over here. Just pick whichever font you would like to use. I think I'll go with this one today. Okay, and then just copy that and have fa uh -uh, capitals. Facebook ads. I'm going to put that in bold. So I'll move that up to here. And then just make the fonts look good together. So I'm just going to even them out at the edges so that they're the same width. Okay, I'll just move them up slightly. So you can see there that that text has only taken up two of those boxes. So we've got another three to play with if we want. I'm going to change the colour. 
to make it the blue. Let's copy that in again. Cool. Right, and now we're going to make some text appear in our call to action shape over here, which is going to be get, oh, can't type today, get your cheat sheet now free. Okay. When you're changing the size of your text, always make sure that this text, this little box over here is checked so that it keeps it in proportion. Otherwise you'll get into all sorts of bother with it. Um, I'm going to just look for a good font. Pick that one. Just reducing the line spacing here by and just change this slider up and down until you're happy with the spacing. Right, so obviously we're going to edit that a little bit. I'm going to copy this pink to the text. Right. Change the size of the call to action in the text. So because we only have three more boxes to play with, that's actually using up an extra four because we've got one, two, three, four. So we need to try and rearrange this so that it just sits in three. Which can be difficult sometimes. So let's try this. Change that to the blue so it stands out against that yellow. Make the text yellow. It's all just playing around to find out what works for you. It's a lot of trial and error with these things, but that's fine. the text again I'm just gonna put that back around there okay if I put it there that's two boxes <laughs> Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. That's great, we're within our limit of 20%, so that works fine. Right, now I'm going to add in some more design elements. So obviously you can search through all of these different folders and find out what works for you, what you wanna put in. There's loads in there. I'm gonna put in this checklist. This is our cheat sheet, what you're gonna get free. Let me sign up. Okay. Again, you can change all of the colours on this. So if you wanted to change these little blue lines or the tick circles here, you could change them to fit in. If you wanted to make this text bigger, you can do because you've got another another box to play with, so you might as well. Right, change that colour to the pink so that it stands out. Ok, 
Okay. Just play around with the positioning of everything until you're happy with things. You can add in more bits if you want. There's your little hand checking off the, the cheat sheet. Some arrows in if you want to. Change the color again. Basically, what you're just trying to achieve is something that's going to really catch everyone's attention when they see it on their newsfeed on Facebook. You want it to really pop out at them and make them think that they just have to get this offer now. Um, and you you are obviously looking for the best conversions that you can possibly get. So you really do want your ad to stand out and catch people's attention. Okay, so we've finished this now. Grow your list of Facebook ads and we've got the call to action. Get your, your cheat sheet now free. We've got the, all the art elements that we want on there. So now all we're going to do is remove the grid text checker. You don't want that on there. So if you just... Click on that in the layers panel and then press delete there. And there's the ad finish. So then you would just save the design, name it Facebook ad, submit. And then you can just either choose to continue with the design or go to your design and download it as a PNG or a JPEG or a PDF. Okay, I hope that was helpful today. Thanks very much for, for watching and I'll be back soon with some more tutorials for you about Project Thank You Design Studio. Thanks very much. Bye.